good morning good afternoon good evening to all international forum for promotion of homeopathy was formed 284 days back and now we have the regular session every day at 8:30 and uh, around the world the doctors are watching this and participating in it and today we have with us on the 284th day we have dr guna bloomberg who is a homeopath for the last 10 years and is a allopathic md in from latvia europe latvia has a rich tradition with homeopathy because uh, there there is a pharmacy which was started in 1838 during the time of hanuman and it is still functioning there so dr gunab Uh, Bloomberg is known to me for the last five years, and we have visited the pharmacy also. And now it is today. We are uh, going on this discussion for the last so many days. Why homeopathy cannot become number one, or what we should do to become number one in the medical system? So uh, now I invite Dr. Guna Bloomberg to come to our forum and uh, make her presentation. And each panelist is given ten minutes. and after that we will have a discussion until 9:30 okay dr guna bloomberg yes yes hello hello yeah can i share uh, the screen can can yes i will i will share okay you can uh, share from there from your end yes okay i will share yeah. okay can you see it yeah yeah okay so, thank you very much Yeah, so I have only ten minutes. I will have a all the time. So uh, my uh, uh, speech today will be uh, the, the question is what needs to be done to make homeopathy in the uh, number one system in the world. Of course, the topic is very, uh, very, very difficult. But I made it in in very simple way. So the first question is. how big is the world of each person for someone the world is the village for someone it is the country for someone it is the continent and for someone it is the whole world and this presentation i would like to uh, i would like to have a look exactly from this perspective how do we perceive the world so if the citizen of the village so it means for this person that uh, it means that it is enough to have a one good skilled homeopath who can become a, like a family doctor for all citizens uh, for this village and in this case i think it's quite an easy task so if the homeopath is very good and very good skill so the homeopathy can definitely become number one system in that world because the village is small the village is uh, is, is one like a system and people are talking and communicate and in this case i i think uh, it could be a very easy way how to become number one system in that world so if we go further the if we perceive the world is country i am the inhabitant of my country so this is more difficult to be number one because there are more rules uh, different opinions and uh, still if the citizens of the country are open minded to the uh, homeopathy uh it can become like a system number 2 but uh unfortunately it will always be the complementary system to our allopathic system and uh, if uh, all the homeopathic doctors uh, uh are very are also very good skilled so uh, the system also can start to compete and not being as a complementary system but be as a one uh, system uh, like independent 
uh, working system. Uh, if the world is the continent, it's even more difficult because we have very different homeopathic schools. Uh, we have different opinions. Uh, we, in the continent, we are like less communicating between our different governments. And uh, we have also very different cultural approach for life. But of course, there is always a hope that we can struggle and we can uh, show that this is the best system, how we can treat people. But if the whole world is the only a consequence, what happens in the each village, if the world consists of these all small villages, so then what? Uh, so uh, how good is the homeopathic practitioner in that village? Can he or she handle acute cases only with homeopathy, or maybe it's very important to have also allopathy. Uh, can this doctor cure a chronic disease? Can the doctor give a good prophylactic remedy to maintain good health? Uh, so the basis or uh, uh, we can say the good education is the basis of good uh, results. And um, the country where I'm coming from we are uh, only 1.9 million inhabitants. So from uh, like uh, other perspective, we are like a small village in the big world. So for us, it's quite an easy task to, um, to uh, show and to become uh, one of our leading uh, treatment systems in our country because also in Latvia, only medical doctors can work as a homeopathy, but also our um, profession is also recognized by academic and governmental institutions. Uh, and uh, we have a two year official internship uh, in the Latvian uh, university. So, the very uh, good course uh, and uh, possibility to become a good homeopath. And it means more uh, knowledge we get, uh, better practitioners we are, and best results we can obtain. And uh, of course, uh, what I can see uh, in Europe, we have quite a full knowledge about how to handle, handle acute cases because uh, our acute cases, um, uh, we are always handling mostly with allopathic drugs, but uh, of course uh, it's a very important issue to be a good homeopath and uh, to handle uh, special acute cases because uh, uh, our satisfied patients, they are the best, uh, this kind of uh, advertising people, they can uh, tell to other world about our system and uh, if we think what patients need, uh, they need good recovery from diseases and good health. And uh, uh, before I met uh, Dr. Jose Isaac, uh, I was not so good in treating uh, and handling acute cases. And then he said, uh, this is the best way how to uh, open the door for the world and how to uh, introduce homeopathy in the broader, broader spectrum of uh, people. And absolutely, I'm absolutely convinced it is like this. If we cure uh, acute case, uh, it will be the best advertising for homeopathy. And then people, they call it's like miracle cure, like uh, severe COVID cases, or sepsis, uh, when all the possible anti antibiotics uh, uh, do not make any difference, or there is a uh, anti antibacterial resistance, or uh, apoplexy, or burns, or abscesses, or delivery trauma, and you name it, 
so many different acute situations when people get this very good uh, treatment and then uh, they are very happy and then the uh, advertising our uh, medical system and uh, of course in the village it's very easy but it's very difficult on this larger scale and uh, i think it's also the question how the homeopathy spread uh, 200 years ago uh, why it became so popular in the world because of our patients, because of uh, one person who was a very good... Um, Doctor, excuse me. Doctor, can you keep your microphone a little more closer? Yes. Can you okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So Thank you. Always the first person, like the first person in India or the first person in, in my country or the first person in Brazil, uh, so the first uh, homeopathic practitioner, so he or she starts to work and uh, more satisfied patients, uh, the best advertising uh, possible. Of course, globalization, uh, social media, all this kind of modern uh, communication, uh, it's very important, but still people want to have a recommendation from family doctor or friend or relative or neighbor or uh, some cases also uh, in, on Facebook, uh, I got COVID and I have a homeopathic doctor in few days, I, I got healed. So it's, it's very important, it's very dynamic also communication. Of course, it's very important also to establish homeopathy in academic society. Uh, uh, Dr. Gordon, can you, can you be more louder? Because uh, we can't hear you properly. Okay, okay. Uh, put the mic nearer to your mouth. Yes, okay. Uh, okay. So, yeah, so uh, scientific work and publications, of course, for our academic society, it's very important, especially when we need uh, a pro uh, approval why and how homeopathy is working. Um, but at the same time, uh, still, when we don't have any uh, this kind of uh, proven uh, discoveries, how exactly it's working, uh, sometimes I'm asking and I'm also telling to my patients, why do we need to improve something that is working on a million people worldwide? And of course, we all need publications in journals Lancet or Nature, but at the same time, if we don't get it, so what, we, we may not work. Of course, we can work and uh, we can do our best to show with our good results how we are dealing in everyday life with our patients. And also in my country, in Latvia, we have a very, uh, very kind of uh, closed uh, in mind this academic society, but still we have this uh, rule or the necessity that homeopathy, it is an art of uh, medicine and we are uh, practitioners, we are uh, very responsible people, so we know we are, what we are doing. And um, at the end, I would like to say, we all can become number one doctors in, in each village. And then the homeopathy will be number one in the world. And the last slide, I would like to dedicate this presentation to my teacher, Dr. Jose Isaac, for his dedication to educate as many as possible homeopathic practitioners in the world. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Gona. Anyway, uh, it is better than uh, talking in Latvian language <laughs> because we could understand it properly. Anyway, we, after this uh, panelist presentation, we will have a question and answer session. And okay. after that, we'll, you have to make a concluding remark of uh, two, two sentences. Okay. okay. So Thank please you. remain with us. Thank you. Now I invite Dr. Yashika, our second panelist. She's from India. Yashika Arora Mahotra from India. She's an alumni of the Nehru Homeopathic Medical College, Delhi. And uh, she took her MD from DKM Homeopathic Medical College, Aurangabad. And uh, Achiever of the STHS scholarship program by CCRH 
and uh, titled Efficacy of Homeopathic Medicines in the Treatment of Alopecia Areta for a period of six months under the Central Council of Research in Homeopathy. The, she also got the Appreciation Award by Board of Homeopathic System of Medicine, Delhi, in 2018. She won the Homeopathic Icon Award by Delhi Homeopathic Federation in 2019 and also got the Chikitsa Seva Ritma Award by Varadhi Homeopathic Panel. A Young Homeopath Oration Award by South Delhi Homeopathic Association Kent's Memorial Lectures, which was conducted on 14th and 15th September of 2019. And she got the third prize in CCRH Film Video Making Competition 2020. The contributing author of Textbook of Obstetrics and Neonatology with the Homeopathic Therapeutics by Dr. Tripti Bhamre, the editor of the Homeopathic Heritage, a peer reviewed journal, and Homeopathy 360. So now I invite Yashika to come to our forum to make her presentation. Come on, Doctor. Uh, good evening, sir. And I would like to uh, wish everyone a very warm good evening who have joined us for this webinar uh, and discussion, panel discussion today. And I'm very glad and thankful to IFTH International Forum for Research in Homeopathy for giving me this platform once again to share my views and uh, discuss and have a, be a, one of the panelists during this discussion when we are discussing the need of the art today. That is how we can make homeopathy topmost on uh, in the world or how can we bring uh, homeopathy on the top number in the world. So uh, I, without, before starting anything or discussing anything, I would like to um, pick one word from this forum that is research. Uh, we have uh, the, 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 the IPH uh, defines that International Forum for Research in Community. So I would like to uh, uh, bring up this. Your sound is, which is your very sound important. Is, is your sound is breaking, Doctor. Can you get into better connectivity, please? Your sound is breaking. Appreciate. Yeah. Some connection problem. Yeah. Continue, Doctor. Dr. Yashika, you can continue. Maybe better without audio or without video for the meantime to improve your audio quality. Dr. Yashika, please continue. Okay, sir. Okay. I hope I'm audible now. Yes, uh, now yes. it is okay. Now it's okay. Okay, okay, okay. Great, sir. So I just wanted to discuss on the uh, very important and uh, very compulsory part, which is the need of the art today. That is the need of research in our uh, in our pathy in uh, We can't hear some connectivity problem. About your belief, why it is why it is not being recognized on top uh, on top of so many uh, wonders that miracle and miracles which is shown by homeopathy. So I, uh, this is uh, this is uh, to be discussed. Uh, research oriented approach by homeopaths not not only by the institutes not only by the colleges not only by the uh, ccrh or the worldwide authorities but by by every practitioner by every student by every person who is linked to homeopathy he must have an approach towards this research 
and uh, he must from the very beginning when the when a student enters the college or when he is doing his uh, undergraduate bhms or post graduation the first and foremost thing uh, uh, the homeo the student should be taught is the uh, is the research oriented approach how he can record the cases how he should take the case what is the importance of recording what is the importance of uh, noting those uh, Uh, having those evidences when you are de dealing with cases patients so first and foremost thing i want to uh, uh, fo focus and i emphasize is on the research oriented approach and the second most thing i would like to request everybody who is who is associated with every uh, any any of the the uh, any of the institutes any of the colleges or we have so many associations working up all over the world uh, though everyone is trying their level best to do something better for the sake of homeopathy to do something better to get some to give something better uh, to give something better to the society to give something uh, new to give something uh, bring something uh, bring homeopathy to a better level so the the, the thing important is unity that is the need of as homeopaths wherever we are practicing wherever we are there we should have a unity among ourselves whoever association anybody belongs to whoever uh, institute anybody belongs to the first and foremost thing we should be united together if another homeopath is saying something is supporting something another home, the this the, uh, we should all support uh, support them in united and we should always follow the principles of our master who gave us the individualistic approach and he taught us that what is the importance of unity and uh, what is the uh, what what protocol should be followed there should be a standard protocol that should be followed by worldwide homeopaths not should have we, we, i don't know how it will be possible what what we can do but yes we we'll, i will try my best to uh, to uh, emphasize this point and uh, how we can this how we can do this but yes there, there should be a standard protocol like allopaths like everybody if you talk about allopathic doctor they are practicing uh, and uh, 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 one doctor is giving one medicine for fever another doctor is giving another medicine one doctor is giving another antibiotic another uh, they they are using different medicines different uh, different doctors are using different medicines or names or patents but but they have one protocol that is to be followed that is a standard protocol similarly goes with homeopaths when it comes to homeopathy the doctors should follow the doctors should be following this uh, approach that you, though you will be giving a medicine on individualistic approach one or the other medicine will be providing uh, but then you are following a standard protocol that is the form of the case taking the repertorization art or whatever uh, doc, uh, master hanuman has quoted our guidelines and that standard protocol should be followed by all the homeopaths worldwide there should not be divisions or pulling down or pushing down people one one another by different schools by different schools or by anybody so we should support each other so that we can get 100% results and uh, show this to the uh, show us to the world that yes we have 100% results we are Uh, we are we is we are a evidence based medicine that that will all obviously bring homeopathy on the top and uh, there are many other things which can be discussed if you talk about covid approach like we should come together and um, when you uh, talk about the covid approach, we should be just this should be given this uh, this chance to find out the therapeutic treatment because like allopaths are coming up with on one or the other medicine on other days so we have so many medicines so many individualistic medicines that are that will be very much useful in this uh, in this covid 19 period i would say covid 19 era which is going on so if we are given a chance and we practice this research based medicine uh, on patients on the need of the hour which is uh, today required because covid 19 has half hazard all over the world so if we are given a chance and we provide in united together we
to the government or to the worldwide authorities i think the homeopathy can be can be at the top so uh, i think we have many things we can discuss but yes i would like to focus these three points during this session and thank you so much uh, i hope i made my over to you sir okay thank you dr yashika in spite of the connectivity problem you have put your uh, arguments properly so now we will go to dr shah jahan from uae uh, he is actually based on, uh, in india and uh, he got his bhms from the government home Medical, medical college trivandrum and now he is a specialist in the fatima medical center alaimi uae he has uh, 26 years of professional experience and a former teaching faculty of the Nehru Homeopathic Medical College, Delhi. So now I invite Dr. Shah Jahan to our forum to make his presentation. Uh, good, good evening, sir. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, I am joining from Alain UAE now here. The time is evening 7.30. A very good evening to everyone. I am very happy to join uh, in IFPH discussion forum. And it's a great surprise. IFPH itself is a great surprise because we are nearing uh, 300 days of continuous Zoom meeting, Zoom conference for propagating homeopathy. Our today's topic is how we can uh, make uh, homeopathy as the world number one system. It should be read uh, how we can make homeopathy in world number one medical system will be a, a more uh, reasonable uh, heading because surgery should be considered as a different entity. This is there is uh, very less role in medicines uh, in sur in surgery. <clears throat> as far as homeopathy is concerned, ours is a very good scientific system. We are backed up with a sound philosophy. Our modus operandi is quite perfect. We are prescribing medicines based on symptom similarity and we are getting result, reasonable result. And we and our patients are satisfied, almost satisfied with uh, uh, the results uh, we provide. And thus, and uh, in this manner, homeopathy is surviving and homeopathy is getting propagated throughout the world. And the issue is the acceptance of homeopathy by the uh, scientific community as a scientific system that is still pending. Some may be telling that this is a pseudoscience and someone is telling that this is unscientific there is no medicines in our medicines and our modus operandi cannot be explained scientifically and so on to solve all these problems is there is only one solution for to solve all these problems as far as uh, that is to resolve the mystery in our uh, medicine pills, in our higher potency. If we can do this thing, it's done. Rest of the things we can uh, manage. But this is not going to happen in near future. We all know very well. Then what should be done? as a backup uh, for the time being. We have homeopathy popular in at least 10 nations in this world. Very popular, I must say. And in many other countries, it is there and it is uh, getting popular or it is surviving. Wherever it is uh, very popular, doctors or doctors around the world can unite and we can we have to make a database 
it should be evidence based and convincing for that a common protocol we have to evolve we have to formulate a common protocol that can be accepted by the doctors and academicians of homeopathy uh, throughout the world and it should be uh, in a it should also be acceptable by other scientific community and uh, second thing is our research the main hurdle in conducting research as far as homeopathy is concerned is the uh, parameters which are applicable for the current uh, uh, medical system is not applicable for homeopathy the main analyzing tool in uh, allopathic system or the modern medicine or any other system is randomized control study rct this is uh, as far as homeopathy is concerned we can use this for our drug proving department drug proving uh, uh, aspect but for uh, clinical trials rct is highly uh, in inappropriate for our because of our individualizing uh, uh, theory of individualization this is not at all applicable for our clinical researches so we have to find find out uh, some evaluating tools which is appropriate for us if we go to evaluate our results based on rct that will be a great disaster so these are a few things i would like to share with you in this fine evening anyway united we can do many things to propagate homeopathy to bring up homeopathy nothing is impossible i believe in that thank you all thank you dr shahjahan now i invite uh, doctors to and uh, lovers of homeopathy to go to the chat box and raise their hands for asking questions the uh, first one is uh, our dr t n shridhar kurup i invite dr t n shridhar kurup to ask his question i was observing thank you very much for inviting me this uh, question see that i felt that that what three i was observing very uh, judiciously but i find out that this uh, what dr shahjagan was telling that truck proving that it is all right rtc is very difficult we done an rtc in the year 2008 when the chikungunya was there that time we conducted about 42500 people we observed that it was of course there was result but it is very negligible so that is why this type of rct truck proving method is not be very but it is all over the world acceptable but it is very difficult for the homeopathy that is my opinion so i like to say that we must have to find out some other way otherwise this way if they were they will always to tell it is unscientific it is pseudo science and etc that is my opinion thank you very much uh, thank you very much for your uh, giving me an opportunity thank you very much okay thank you dr shridhar kuru of course our principles are different mm -hmm. every system has its own principles and uh, it it should have its own way of scientific research also thank you now i invite dr shaji kudiyat for his comments thank you very much it was very nice and excellent presentations done by our panelists today and uh, uh, first of all i highly appreciate the ideas that uh, very unique and different ideas different thought process that brought that was brought forward by dr guna from latvia 
I highly appreciate her wisdom in, in classifying when we think of bringing homeopathy number one in the world. Her idea of classifying the world beginning from the village to the nation, to the continent and to the world is a very unique one and she appropriately presented that that was a great idea for me and that uh, carries great wisdom too. And uh, with that perspective, I like to point out the point that her conclusion, if you want to make a number one homeopathy as the number one system in the world, we need to make uh, good homeopathy doctors in every village. And that is a great idea for me, which we all need to consider. That is a great wisdom. Secondly, Dr. Yashika brought forward and the key word I wish to choose from her is unity. She made two basic ideas. One is research and another one is unity. And uh, which I wish to prefer to catch from her the unity idea. And regarding research, I, in my opinion, the idea that uh, homeopathy is not having enough research is a diverting idea to tackle and uh, sub submissive, keep us submissive by declaring we are inferior. That is not the truth. We have done, even our medicines are proved, everything happened in the most uh, highest research and scientific way. Maybe different from the current way of research, and they are trying to bring us to their line of thinking and their line of research to bring uh, our potentials negligible or, or, or less competent. That we should not be affected by that. Because research is not the way. They, have the known, they are not the authority in the world to decide what is the right uh, kind of research and this is not to tell this is the only line of research. It should come from the, it should be decided by the wisdom of the people of the world. And now what they are doing is suppressing the wisdom of the people by suppressing the opinions of the world, uh, people uh, from coming out. See, even in the COVID time, homeopathy is one of the best for prevention and treatment of uh, COVID uh, disease. But uh, if somebody write a post in Facebook telling that homeopathy is good for COVID prevention and treatment, they will be banned from uh, posting there. I am banned for 30 days now. For just by stating, homeopathy is good for prevention and treatment of COVID-19. Telling the truth, I am banned. And such a kind of world exists, how the truth will come out. So there is some uh, effort from some people who wish to control and exploit the world to hide the truth from us. And we should be careful about that a diversifying effort that they are making to bringing our line of research to their line of research. We should not be affected and uh, um, uh, submerged by their tactics. And that is very important point because this is going to uh, keep us divisive because they are telling this RCT is the right kind of research and we should uh, prove the way they wish to prove. And when we do that, the potentials of our medicine will not be coming out in the best way which we can bring out in other ways, which we are already doing. And the patients are already aware about it and the world is aware about that. But they are nobody to decide the, and say the final word in the world. It should come from the collective wisdom of the suffering people. And I think where we are succeeding, that's why when we say the truth, they are obstructing us. So no need to be tackled by their uh, crookedness and uh, uh, suppressive mode. And uh, regarding Dr. Shah Jahan, Dr. Shah Jahan actually correctly set the RCTs in the right perspective regarding the research. So there is uh, differences in allopathy and homeopathy and the RCT is only possible in proving because uh, uh, randomized control study, double blind study, what do you mean by double blind? Those who give the medicine and those who uh, take it, both of them, uh, should, but them should not know which one we are giving. How it is possible? Those who prefer uh, choose the medicine uh, need to choose the right medicine needed for the patient. Then only uh, we can select a simulimum. In allopathy, there is no simulimum or patient-specific treatment. 
they blindly choose a medicine and give it to thousand people and proving it and that is not the right way that is a business model that is not the right way of curing patients so we should uh, uh, should not apply rct to clinical trials which they are doing and uh, they are unable to cure so many diseases because of that wrong approach they are implementing because they are interested in making business in the world and our mission is not to make business alone we also can make business no problem but by helping people to help people we need to come out with a more of a right approach individualized approach each patients are different so we need to give tailor made patient specific treatment and that is the need of the hour so dr shahjahan very rightly mentioned it a clinical proving can never be done correctly through rct it can be applied for proving no problem and that is a very nice and today's presentations are very nice and so we need a, a doctors in every village we need unity among homeopathic doctors and we need our own research methodology based on uh, uh, holistic science because in allopathy that is a linear science ours is a non linear science and that diversity should be uh, our mode of uh, approach and the repeatability which they are telling is only applicable in machines where we need to provide energy it is not applicable in living organism where there is energy within and the frequency wavelength and amplitude of the energy in each living organism is different so there will be uh, individualistic approach needed there so with this i highly appreciate and uh, three words i wish to bring out one is um, uh, we need to produce homeopathy doctors in every village we need more education in homeopathy around the world second one is a unity that i catch from yashika dr yashika third one is in research rct is not the solution especially for clinical research thank you very much thank you dr shaji now i invite dr logamani gupta to give her comments who uh, one logamani gupta raised her hand but now she is not there so now you invite uh, dr hubert de selva for his comments good evening uh, some i heard uh, some missed uh, but uh, i want to say something uh, from hearing some uh, um, the panelists saying we have to we have the, the, in this pandemic stage i got now only i got seven patients from a, a home they they may be uh, the symptoms are showing that they are all uh, covid patients in the different stages this time we have to treat the patient cannot hear properly please louder or can you hear now can you hear now i can hear ah. okay okay so seven patients uh, in a home how we can manage it just now uh, i got it because i want to say that three types of treatment is needed for such cases this will develop the the condition will both become more and more worsening day by day uh, i manage three types of uh, method treatment method for treating a mass critical management first we have to do something for the patients whole patients then after that on after uh, day after day there is uh, different types of development that time we have to do some other treatment protocol and after that we have to treat post covid treatment this is now the covid uh, is very going serious that time we have to have a protocol yeah, i i uh, i think that many doctors are treating th this type of cases nowadays but put forward what they are doing what is very much effective which method is very much effective or all should bring forward the put forward the things in the table then we can understand that these are the protocols we can do now most of the doctors are doing uh, i know that most of the doings are doing uh, they are giving arsenic alb is it possible or any other medicines that is more effective for a, as a like a genus epidemicus that is we have to do we have to study it 
put forward all doctors who are tra- treating who are treating this case, this type of cases must bring forward their method of treatment that uh, ah another one my website i am trying to update it now only i understood that what shaya it cannot be done by me for several times i was trying now i understood that because there is treatment and covid treatment on covid covid pro i, I return it that is why they are not uh, it is publishing now my website and i cannot update it yeah, the, so there there is a mass uh, program is going around to uh, stop our pri- our activities so this must be how we can manage we must think about it thank you very much that is what i want to say thank you dr hubert now i invite again dr lokmani gupta if she wants to make any comments thank you can you raise your hand dr lokmani gupta is Should there I... doctor please unmute unmute him oh uh, okay okay he's okay. visible yeah 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 please uh, please unmute from your side doctor yes Okay. Yes, you are unmuted. You can speak. Yeah, yeah. Now you can speak, doctor. Hello. Yes. 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 Are you listening to me? I can. Can. No problem. Hello. Good evening to all. My pleasure to be with you, sir. I congratulate the association and the speakers. Very good point. There is. to reach up to the village and to have a research in homeopathy no doubt our medicines are very well proved on the human individual but the ecology the environment the diet and the realm of the person has changed so we should definitely proceed for the research and to reconfirm the medicines and symptomatology a homeopathic doctor should never be adhered with the symptomatology what the provers presented before us and the record keeping is definitely a must to put before the authorities the higher authorities the administrative officers and the government of every country to come forward with a homeopathy to bring it on the top as the topic of today's seminar record keeping is a essential reconfirmation of the medicine with research is very essential so a very good point and very good guidance given in the conference i'm thankful to all the speakers and giving me a time to speak thank you sir thank you doctor for your comments now i invite dr manoj gs for his comments thank you dr sir sir doctor i think dr uh, guna plumber from latvia point out is a very important thing this uh, homeopathy in the village level this is number one always this is the right thing but how to propagate it beyond that border is a very very vexing question as i also express as i do Uh, just, just like mm-hmm. yeah. making disturbance i think so yeah, okay. Okay. Gupta, please mute yourself yes i did mute her okay now then uh, the uh, as a country like late where the so population is 1.9 it is 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 so we have to target on that that nation having uh, lesser number of people that, that, that's an important thing then dr ashika said the the develop certain protocols so in order to make homeopathy a uniform homeopathy practice just like dr hubert said well, about the, the the treating the covid cases seven seven or eight type of patients are there what is the what is the difficulty there is no difficulty i think because uh, there is a bonio sense method to prescribe medicines giving four or five medicines at a time then advising the patient to take medicines in succession one after another according to symptoms 
that just like the uh, the aconite uh, spongy heifer cell see it says that that hanimal also form follow same method so there is no problem for uniformity homeopathy and dr sajahan said uh, uh, suggestions that about the uh, so in the, as far as the medicine is concerned it is still number that's a very good observation i will i am listening this uh, discussion for the last 30 days so it's quite new novel idea he gave in this in the platform then we don't be the prior to to the the tactics the tactics played the wrong tactics played by the western world we all know that cricket they are always always using sledging to demoralize the batsman just like that they are always using this the wrong method the double blind double blind methods or the, the statistical methods to assess us to demoralize us so we don't become a prey to their trammels so that is that's more important we don't mind about what they are doing is totally blind method i i will say this is total blind method that is why they are uh, always first of all they, they said about the plasma therapy stq remdesivir so many medicines are withdrawn if they were studied properly then what is the, what is the need for withdrawing these medicines so it is totally false fabricated cases and who are doing this these are these things only the medical company is not any government agency or the public not any media it is only by the companies who are doing all these researches and publishing it so we don't don't accept them we don't talk about them i think we we must must be totally adamant against them then again we it is always needs a new world order no other hope for that so for that the, the petroleum industry uh, must crumble then naturally the, the the pharmacy industry will crumble and a few uh, new pandemics will teach them well anyway home people will have the definite edge in the coming years thank you for giving an opportunity to participate in the discussion thank you thank you dr manoj you one more i would like to add is recently we read a, a statement by the delhi ima that nobody has died after taking two vaccinations yeah. their own former president dr k k agarwal died after taking two vaccinations yeah but it is not in the list so this is yeah. fully fabricated Yeah. Anyway, so definitely. Now I invite uh, our panelists for the concluding statements. First of all, I invite Dr. Guna Blomberg. Yes, there is one more hand raised by Mr. Okay. Parid Baba. Okay, yes, Dr. Parid. Okay. Ah, okay. Now I invite uh, Parid Baba. Okay. <coughs> There's no time. Uh, I don't pursue. Uh, you can go ahead. Okay. You can take two minutes, Dr. Uh, sir. Oh, okay. And uh, I fully appreciate the presentations we had today. Uh, some of them have made a, a unique approach for example uh, dr guna adopted a different methodology or a different approach in addressing this uh, topic very beautifully she has done it uh, dr yashika arora focused as uh, dr shaji has pointed out on uh, research unity and also standardized protocol she also presented the thing in a beautiful way very aptly dr sajan's point is worth uh, listening that is we have to adopt, adopt or evolve a methodology to conduct or organize research in homeopathy because of the unique nature of uh, homeopathy uh, all of them have done it well very good thank you very much good night all the thank best. you very much uh, now i invite dr yahia our senior member to make his comments doctor you here yes 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 i'm here so this the uh, so i want to make uh, two comments because of this double blind study is already mentioned so i actually so uh, if you get 100 patients and giving medicines to 50% and giving placebo to the other 50 actually they, without their knowledge so it is actually inhuman it is not it not to be recommended so that point we have to highlight so giving medicines to 50 and they giving placebo to the other 50 and uh, uh, without their knowledge and assuming and um, um, and we are persuading them that, that they are they are taking medicines actually uh, really we are giving placebo so it is uh, inhuman actually it is illegal then one more thing i have, I have to mention is so even uh, in covid situation the or the apex body of india already announced that there is treatment 
Cannot hear, cannot hear. Cannot hear. Uh, please the only it. system. Ah, okay, okay. The only system in the world which have medicine for COVID is so homeopathy. The apex body of India already announced the High Court of Kerala. Again, it is stamped. So the, the main point is, even though it is an individual fight, so we have achieved in that. The only system with the COVID treatment is homeopathy. Cannot hear properly. We are, we are telling uh, homeopathy is behind. We, we are telling again and again homeopathy is the second. And why we are not in the first place. Actually, really in this situation, in this case, in this specific case, we are the topmost now. That is my point that is to be highlighted. The Apex, well, the Apex body already given chance to treat to COVID in India. So the world should know. So we had to announce worldwide, even, even though the Facebook and the YouTube are already blocking our people. So some other way we have to opt to highlight that point. So thank you very much for your uh, patient hearing. Thank you, Dr. Yehia. What Yehia said is absolutely correct. It was our Central Council for Research in Homeopathy, which came up first with the uh, preventive arsenic alp, and it is still effective even after one and a half years. Second point is they came out with the uh, protocol for the treatment of mild and moderate cases. And that also we never, never, never withdrew any medicine. And the third is now they have come up with the protocol for mucormycosis treatment. So in every step, we have been in the right place. and uh, We never, never went back from our whatever we have said. That's a great thing. And the whole world is watching us. The whole world is following us in that matter. And uh, that's one of the greatest things where we have to compare with the seven medicines that were being used by the other system of medicine is found to be useless. And actually they are responsible for the death of two lakh people in India by giving these medicines. Thank you, Dr. Yehia. Now I invite our panelists to come forward for their concluding statement. I invite Dr. Gona Bloomberg for her concluding statement first. Dr. Bona. Yes, yes, thank you. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes, yes. no problem. Yes. So uh, it was very interesting also for me to hear uh, all these different kind of uh, thinking and way of uh, expressing. And uh, I have, as I told my, in my presentation, uh, I'm coming from the country where the allopathic medicine is very uh, dominant and also the government is very, uh, let's say, uh, critical to alternative uh, kind of thinking. But uh, of course, I completely agree that we need uh, more research, we need more uh, understanding and communication between all the nations. And uh, uh, as also Dr. Josio said, uh, all the world is looking now on India, how India is dealing with uh, COVID, with the all new complications. And um, uh, you are like the pioneers for us. And uh, if you will show us that uh, it's possible, uh, I think also my part of the world will also follow you. So this is my comment. Thank you, Dr. Gona. Now I invite Dr. Yashika to make her comments, concluding statements. Thank you so much, sir. And I'm glad that uh, this, the, it was a great discussion today with everyone, all these speakers. They, they uh, explained everything so well, Dr. Uh, Dr. Guna and uh, sir. So uh, Dr. Guna as well as sir. So um, I think uh, if this initiative, uh, I just hope that this initiative can bring out a change in this in in our fraternity or something better can we can uh, uh, do uh, i i'm just hoping from this uh, sessions uh, which is which are going on since few days on homeopathy and how we can what are what all steps we can do and i'm glad to be associated with ifph always and dr shaji and everyone I, uh, all these 
support i'm getting from various doctors uh, i have uh, i have uh, i have uh, got from you all so thank you so much everyone thank you thank you dr yashika now i invite dr shahjahan from uae to make his concluding statement dr uh, shahjahan good evening once again yeah good evening so uh, it is it is a uh, very nice section nice session and the comments from the audience quite uh, worth mentioning so they added spices uh, to the uh, enough spices to the uh, points put forward by the uh, uh, presenters so once again i would like to stress the uh, need of making a database world worldwide database for homeopathy because by which only we can communicate with the scientific uh, community and people around the world how can we communicate for that we have to make a common protocol and if uh, common protocol means that should be uh, that that should be uh, uh, applicable for most of the uh, doctors in such a way we have to formulate and we have to uh, collect our uh, data in a unified way so by that we can present our system to the world i once again uh, i would like to emphasize the point that the main uh, obstacle uh, to be declared homeopathy as a scientific system is uh, our inability to show what is the medicine in our medicine that means the mystery in our high potency medicines so that will take time uh, but we cannot sit quiet till it is being unveiled so uh, through the database we have to uh, show to the world that it is not the responsibility of homeopathy alone to find out uh, the mystery in our medicines but it is the responsibility uh, of the scientific Uh, science as a whole uh, because uh, such a wonderful and uh, nice system of medicine by which we can uh, cure patient by which we can give services to uh, the suffering humanity in such a painless way such a nice manner but it is still not getting uh, acceptance uh, just because of some uh, uh just because of some reasons uh, that is not directly applicable to such a science like homeopathy it's a, a such a natural system it's like homeopathy so uh, we have to improve our academic our uh, teaching standards and standards of doctors uh, and we can we have to communicate Uh, each other doctors themselves and we have to communicate with the uh, world with the people uh, with the, through the uh, database so uh, that's an important thing uh, thank you once again for giving me a chance to uh, appear in this uh, session thank Thanks. you all panelists come again to our forum again and again Now I invite Dr. Shaji Kudia to make a word of uh, word of thanks. Thank you, Dr. Josai sir. And I have two announcement to make. One is um, uh, there will be a change of platform from Zoom meeting to some other platform, which we will be deciding within few days. So the link we are using to. Under our ses daily sessions may change if we change our platform. So all the participants, regular participants, take note of it. If there is any change, it will be notified in our WhatsApp groups. So in the coming days, uh, it can happen any any day. So please take note of it and uh, follow the advices given giving through our WhatsApp and uh, uh, Instagram groups. uh for for change of links or whatever uh, coming on the way 
second thing there will be a regular steering committee meeting after this uh, session so steering committee members are here be requested to participate in the uh, 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 steering committee meeting through the link provided the steering committee group now i use this opportunity to thank all the pa panelists uh, dr shahjahan dr yashik and dr guna all of you made a rich presentations today it was a well remembering new ideas came out and i thank you all of you for your presence and uh, uh, sharing of ideas and information and um, we need to continue this uh, sessions um, we are having regular uh, discussions on the same topic for the purpose of inciting this thought process in the hearts and minds of every homeopath around the world because every action precedes thoughts so we need to achieve this great idea of bringing homeopathy to every new can corner of the world we need to start and initiate that thought process that is the reason we are conducting uh, discussions on the same topic inviting delegates from different countries so that is to uh, make it happen in every new can corner of the world and also i thank uh, um, all the participants uh, Uh, who joined us today and uh, from on behalf of uh, ifph and on my personal behalf and uh, all those who participated today uh, i thank all the panelists uh, the uh, uh, moderator dr jose isak sir and all uh, participants today thank you good night see you again tomorrow bye bye